Hello, welcome. Um, been a long time since I've done a video for actual YouTube and uh, not my course, but it's good to be back and it's good to do uh, different things. Um, so today we are going to look at um, creating a splash screen. But as I was doing that, I figured out um, a way to get music to cross over those two um, scenes as well. So if you also wanted two scenes to blend together, you can also use this technique. It might be a little bit more tricky with game assets, but um, if I show you music, you could probably look up on um, script and API and understand it a little bit more. So what we're going to do is, if you can see with my scene at the moment, I've got a main game, which is this current scene, and then I've got, let's just save that, make sure that saves, and then I've got my splash screen here. So there we go, it's just a really, really nice, simple splash screen, and if I press play at the moment, I think I've got a small animation, and that should start fading in, about five seconds long, lovely, so very, very, very simple splash screen for core games, lovely, fantastic. And that is just using um, the image on the, of the UI and then adding an animator to that, as we can see here. Lovely, fantastic. So um, what we're going to do first is have a look at uh, the music side of things. And then we can, while we're doing that, we can get the splash screen um, timer sorted in as well. So what we need to do first is go to game object, create an empty object, because we need to add that music. So we're just gonna call this music player. There we go. Once we've got that, we can, remember this is just an empty object, it's at zero, 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 that's perfectly fine. And what we're gonna do is add a component, and there we go, audio source, okay? So um, don't nick music, and obviously I'm not going to nick any music, otherwise it'll be blocked off YouTube. So I found some free non-copyrighted music, music by Cube Z, and I'm just going to drop and drag that in if it allows me. There we go, fantastic. So um, I'm going to loop that music as well, just in case, in case you want that music, um, or you want that music to loop, because if it's going to go to your main game or to your main menu or something like that, you don't want that music just to suddenly fade off or stop. What I'm also going to do is the volume is currently at one, so that might be really loud during this video. So I'm going to put it at 0.25. Might be a bit more quiet. Hopefully this music plays. If it doesn't, it seems very odd. So hopefully um, that's going to come through to the microphone. <laughs> Lovely, so um, I'm not sure if that works with the animation at the same time, it should have, or should have even. There we go, lovely, fades in, and then the animation I think is five seconds long, I made it. Lovely, cool. So we've got a music player on there with our audio source, fantastic. So we need to do um, a transition between um, those two scenes. Okay, and again, we are going to create a script and um, also use this scene management. So let's jump on that. So what we're going to do is just in here, because this is only a small tutorial, we're not going to create a folder, create a script. Let's call this music player. Lovely. And because I've called it music player, what I'm going to do is actually add this script to, once it's finished compiling, to music player. There we go. There's music player. We load that up. Loading, loading, loading. Fantastic. I'll just make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Awesome. Fantastic. So the first thing we're going to do is say using Unity Engine dot scene management. That's the thing where we can control between our scenes. Um, we are then going to get rid of update because we don't need update. Um, we can then say void and let's create this custom method. Oh, what can we call it? Let's say load main game. So custom method for this. Lovely, fantastic. And once we've got that, we can then say the traditional way that we create a scene management. So scene manager dot load scene and we're going to say one. So there's a reason why we're doing this and um, before we save this script, we have to look at our build settings to make sure that our next scene is at one. Remember within Unity, everything starts from zero. So zero, one, two, three. Um, so if we go to file, build settings, we can see that I have already added 
my scene. So my splash screen, my splash screen, as I've named it here, is scene zero, and my main game is scene one. So that would be correct. So make sure that you are going onto looking at these digits here within your build settings that you're going into the right scene, that you're loading the right scene in here. Okay, so this is good. This is a really, really good start. Cool, so how can we get that scene to suddenly fade off or transition into our next scene? So what we're gonna do within Void Start, we're gonna use something called Invoke. And we are gonna Invoke, so Invoke is, okay, I want something to come in to my scene or something to happen to my scene during that scene. So what's going to happen? So what's going to happen is load my main game. So I'm quoting this method here. And it's going to last for, I was going to say about seven seconds because I want people to see the logo. I don't want it just to vanish straight away. So, or maybe six seconds. Let's try that. So 6F for six seconds long, um, I'm going to invoke that in. Um, so if I save this script, go over to Unity. Okay, no errors, fantastic. So let's press play and see what happens. Fantastic, so that technically worked. So we've done everything there. The scene jumped over, but the music didn't. So that's the most important part, but we now know how to create a splash screen. It's as simple as that. And with the music in there, the transition will seem a lot smoother because that seemed very just all of a sudden, didn't it? So um, what we can do is we can go back into our music player script here and what we can do is this get our oh, so we can put this down, move this down by two. And what we're going to say is we can say void awake. So awake happens before start, and that's important because we want this game asset um, to remain within our scene. And, and so load up before it and then almost remain almost like as an underlayer and then come up um, between all of these scenes. Okay, so this is why we're using void awake. Um, the best way to do this is something called don't destroy on load, okay? So what are we not destroying on load? Well, we don't want to destroy the music player itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do brackets and all we're gonna do is write game object. It's as simple as that, semicolon. So we're saying this whole game object here, we don't need to create, um, um, it's almost like destroy this dot game object. It's exactly the same, this game object. We don't want to destroy it as we carry on through our scenes. So we're gonna save this and see if this has worked. Let's let Unity compile. Press play. There we go, there's a logo loading in. Music playing. Lovely, fantastic. So the music lasts and transfers through. Great, I hope you have enjoyed this quite mini small tutorial. Um, it's good to be putting stuff back onto um, YouTube and stuff like that. And also I've now gone over 500 subscribers, so thank you very much for that as well. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you very soon.